Hello, everyone! And I am just realizing now that uh, one person is zoomed in extremely close up right now, so I need to change that. But this is the Awkward GM, Corbin. Thank you all for joining us today for this They Came From session. Uh, this is going to be the Hotel Lobby, uh, which you can find online at Drive Through RPG. I like to thank uh, everyone for showing up to this amazing session, which is my first time ever running this, so please be kind. <laughs> uh, first up, uh, you can find me, the Awkward GM Corbin, at uh, YouTube at the Awkward GM Corbin, and uh, I will shift it over to my right here, which is going to be Hiromi. Hello, Hiromi. Are you muted, Harumi? <laughs> Heck yes. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Tai. One day, Hiromi, I mean. Uh, I'm Hiromi. Uh, they, them. I'm the uh, Scion creative lead. I do most things Scion, uh, but I also do stuff with They Came. Uh, they came from, uh, including uh, the uh, quips and uh, cinematic systems for uh, this. Uh, so if people end up not liking their quips, then uh, it's it's my fault. And if people think the quips are the best things ever, uh, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, we'll we'll have a bunch of fun, I'm sure. Awesome. And I will shift it over to uh, Travis. Travis, welcome. Hello. Uh, my name is Travis. My pronouns are he, they. Uh, when I'm not uh, running games on here, I'm writing them. Um, and I am very, very grateful uh, to Corbin for the opportunity to sit on uh, this side of the GM screen, which is uh, a lovely side that I don't get to see enough of. Um, and tonight I'll be playing Donna Dare. Um, who is uh, a spy? I believe we're all spies. I think that's the the gem oh, yeah. for they came from. Yeah, they. Um, <laughs> I like. They I came like, from classified. I should say. I think. I, I think it was Matthew said on a podcast episode that they came from classified was a working title or something, and then it just stuck. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but we we thought long and hard about trying to come up with one that's better, and no, it's it's good on its own so we just left it and uh, not to tell too many company secrets in public but that happens more often than you'd think <laughs> i think uh, I, i've heard a podcast say that some of the acronyms for some some uh I th for some of the stuff started out as like for like Chron uh, chronicles of darkness was just like oh yeah we put it up there because it would make a silly acronym not realizing that we'd get stuck with it or something oh that's public, at least, because no one ever talks to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's only marginally true, Gordon. Come on. <laughs> In any case, uh, I will. Travis ask... did remind me that uh, I I should actually mention who I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing uh, Alexis uh, Maneaton, uh, as in man eating, because she is. Uh, <laughs> Or rather, they are a them fatale, uh, because that's 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 what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I I love that. Reminds me of the uh, character from uh, from uh, the John Wick two or three. They they are they them act actor who's like very noiring it up. In any case, uh, passing it over to Crow. Hi. I'm Crow. He it. Uh, content creator with Link Slate and also uh, Corpus Crow. I do things ever so often with Onyx Path. I appear and then I disappear. Um, we appreciate will... your appearances whenever they occur. <laughs> Thank you. And, I think you uh, inadvertently who... muted, perhaps. Who are you playing? Yes, I did. <laughs> I play Tate, who is uh, a journalist this week or last month. He doesn't know. 
you just stumble into all of this as a detective. Not really. It's a long story. Just forget about him. It's not that important to this story. <laughs> okay. And over to Liz. Hi, I'm Liz. Uh, she, her. Um, I have been running games with Corbin since college, which I'm not going to say how many years that was because I don't want to be that old yet. Um, but every time I get to jump on and play a new game, this is highlight of my day. Um, I am a casual player, so I will be the one asking the questions um, a lot. Uh, but hopefully I won't slow anybody down. I'm very excited to play. Awesome. I am Minx, um, Minx Crowley, an operative. I'm very excited. Awesome. And uh, Hiromi, what was your character's name again? Alexis Maneaton. Alexis. And Codename Widow Widowmaker. Widowmaker. <laughs> also. I said wrong. I said Tate. I'm actually Tenor Hyde. Listen, I've been undercover for a while, although the boss said it didn't have to be. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I can remember. <laughs> and and Travis, your character's name, just so I have it written down. Uh, Donna Dare, at your service. Um, also, uh, as I uh, created some of the pre-gens that we're using tonight, uh, I did not pre-select quips for them, so... Uh, we may want to either have players choose them or just randomly hand them out with dice rolls because that can be fun. Okay. okay. Uh, so there are in the back in the back of the book. Should I? Should I? Ha, let's have people roll it out. Um, so it's it's one out of thirty. So I guess how can how can I do this? A d six and then a d ten. So sure. <laughs> so one and two would be zero. Three and four would be ten. No, one and two would be zero to ten. You're making this this has suddenly become yeah, it's suddenly complicated. become more complicated. Roll you roll three d ten. No, no, we can't. Um, that's well, we'll miss the first three, but that's fine. The first two. Yeah, you you want to hear my guidance on this? Yes, <laughs> yes please. please. On this exact problem. <laughs> Uh, so roll three three ten sided dice to randomly select their uh, uh, starting quip. Uh, the first die determines the archetype uh, uh, the archetype list uh, because the idea is that you pick you pick two and then the third one you randomly draw out of a deck. And since we're way too far away from each other to draw from the physical deck, uh, then we get to roll for it. Uh, the first die uh, determines which uh, deck it's coming from. One to two is the adventurer. Three to four is quartermaster. Five to six, operative. Seven to eight, provocateur. Uh, nine to ten, detective. Uh, second die determines uh, which part of the list. So one to three is quips one through ten. Four to six, quips eleven through twenty. Seven to nine, uh, quips twenty-one through thirty. And if you roll a ten, you get to pick. Okay. I feel like Hiromi just explained to me how free parking works at their Monopoly table. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but, but I'm still going to make the roll. I should have had more drinks. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you could, if you remember that, we will do that. If, if not, let's roll. Let, I, I let's do. roll. I, I got it. Anyway, for me, um, I think I got it remembered. So uh, die one is archetype, die two is section, die three is quip number, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So yeah, I was paying attention. Awesome. Um, awesome and oh. beautiful. I got, don't forget to say thank you as my rolled quip. It's funny. And then let me pick out here. 
Sorry, I'm just talking to fill the dead air. Yeah, no, no worries. I, His, I, history I, of broadcast. I, I just, I'm just realizing I need to get my physical dice because I did not create a roll twenty page for this. Oh darn it! And 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 I and I remember uh, one of the things about this community uh, product that I really liked was that it has the uh, gridless and gridded uh, battle mat. Yes, it is very handy. The uh, if you've not yet checked out actually the uh, the hotel lobby, it, it is one of the tasty bits. Uh, those come along with the the all the ones we released last year come along with a, a VTT ready map, uh, and when you download them, you get the map obviously within the PDF, but you also get a separate file that is uh, graded and also grid free. So that's handy. Um, oh. I had to look up to see what archetype I was actually Every, playing. So. Every, everyone could roll the their their stuff right now. Just roll randomly from the uh, chart in the back of the book. If you need the chart, I can try and send you some stuff from it. Quickly, uh, but I I should probably go over the uh, Twitch stuff for like while we're doing this uh, since we do have some things to plug such as the reprint repro a go go or henshin a go go as I like to refer to it uh, where uh, Trinity Continuum Core rulebooks are getting reprinted. This is Trinity Continuum Core, Aeon, and Scion Origin. Why did I say Trinity? Trinity. It's also Scion. Uh, I'm I'm just really focused on Trinity because I really want to get the uh, stretch goal of Assassin's hardcover because I really like that one. The uh, OPP game weekend is going to be uh, is going to be uh, the 26th of January, that fr last Friday of January. If anyone wants to uh, join there, uh, additionally, I think I'm trying to see what else we got here. There is the New Year New Game sale on DriveThruRPG and Storyteller's Vault, and it only has three days left. If you're watching on YouTube, that's probably past, but it has all the core rule books and jump starts between 20% and 40% off. Also, the this week's release is uh, W20, uh, Werewolf 20, Icons of Rage. And you should pick that up for several reasons, but one of them is that uh, it was that I I, it, I had the extreme honor and pleasure of writing for that book, so I got to squeeze in the very first werewolf character I ever played oh, uh, nice. into that book, uh, which was nice. lovely. Sweet. It was a lot of fun. I was glad to have that opportunity. Uh, so go pick up uh icons of rage and if you love it tell me all about it and if you don't love it i don't know quietly contemplate your taste i suppose <laughs> is i also got the pleasure of working on that but uh i just ran amok as opposed to sneaking in uh old characters <laughs> uh an absolutely valid approach uh yeah the um, the other one that I did that I thought was kind of cool was, uh, I don't know if anybody remembers the old, old, old World of Darkness Outcasts book. It was a first edition book that covered like, uh, you know, orphans and caitiff and all that stuff. But there was a, a werewolf in the intro fiction of that that I also statted up for this because why not revisit a 30 year old character? Um, everyone all set? Anyone need help? We can fly by the seats of our pants. Do it. We'll do it live. Uh, so, you are all agents working for the titular agency. Your international people of mystery working for the betterment of democracy against the evils of the corrupt uh, forces of super villainy, let's say, various group organizations that are six letters long acronyms that stand for something, but no one really knows what they stand for. Uh, <laughs> I am going through, I, I'm going off of a lot of what I've read just in this hotel lobby community <laughs> supplement. Uh, as part of the agency, you've been brought to, uh, you've, you're in between missions right now, 
probably celebrating at the bar for what was your fi your last mission that you all four were taking part in. You all know each other. Now, as, as your characters are sitting there at the bar, uh, please describe what you are drinking and what badass moment from the previous mich mission you are cheersing to. Uh, we will start with Hiromi. <laughs> uh, Alexis is drinking a, a Bellini and uh, smoking despite Regardless of whether or not uh, smoking is allowed in this establishment. Oh, totally. It's it's ancient. It's yeah. the seventies. Oh well, then smoking is mandatory, I suppose. Mandatory. Uh, there's a haze. There's a man in the corner playing the piano. Uh, and I started writing down people's characters' names, and then I stopped for some reason uh <laughs> travis is playing a donna, donna i think dare. is the only name that i got that donna is correct dare. Donna dare. and crow you're playing tate tanner hyde tanner hyde gotta fix that and liz is playing Minx. yeah that's right okay uh and uh, Alexis will go ahead and toast uh, Minx for uh, punching out uh, a guard uh, and just it it was almost like it was almost like she was curling because she slid all the the guard slid all the way up to the laser trip wire but stopped just before it. like it was very daring. <laughs> and we will move over to Travis. What what giant event are you toasting for from the previous mission? Um, I think uh, Donna's sitting there. Donna has uh, her hair in like a beehive, and she's wearing like a um, like a mini skirt dress, like about the cut of like a United Federations of Planets, um, you know, dress uniform. Uh, but with like huge flowers printed all over it uh, in extremely gaudy and loud colors. And uh, I think she's toasting Alexis uh, for um, helping us get by the 12 security guards by seducing each and every one of them and then knocking them out with their poison lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a line of bodies. It was amazing. <laughs> Awesome. Pro, who, who are you cheersing this fine end of mission drink? Are you muted? Hmm. Cool. Hmm. Who am I cheering? Cheersing. Ah, definitely Minx. Um, Minx curve for me after I, um, professionally but maybe accidentally but like it, it was a trick shot anyways uh when i dropped the gun and shot two of the guys uh two of the bouncers i mean one of them has a wife and kids but like who, who's who's counting i mean casualties the wife also may have got a shot as well she was there visiting with a with a lunchbox but it makes cover for me so you know cheers to that Awesome. And uh, what are you drinking? Oh, um, I think this is a bourbon. Bourbon. I think. I don't know. The lady said it was brown going around, stiff as a board. <laughs> so I assume it's bourbon. <laughs> and uh, the bartender will have given you bourbon. And Minx, who are you cheersing and with what? Um, I am toasting to the fact that we are all still alive with all limbs attached, as it seems like this was a very stressful mission. Um, and I am toasting with um, a neat 
uh, Lagavalin, 16 year age. It's one of my favorites. So. Oh yeah, you gotta go for your favorite in in the game. Mm -hmm. the... So as you all are getting prepared with your drinking and merriment, uh, roll me. Uh, let's see. Roll me an some sort of let's say uh, uh, some sort of perception check in here. We can do larceny if you're looking for for some sort of like just being on the lookout for anyone who looks shady. We can say larceny plus cunning or plus plus intellect or survival if you're just on the lookout. Or maybe you're looking for patterns because. You know that this hotel, this hotel is the Hotel <laughs> Buey Rivage in, in Zurich. And it is quite known for having a special clientele of uh, spies running amok here. So it's highly unlikely that you are the only spies in this bar. How about a cunning larceny so that I can see if anyone is uh, moving about or acting in a in a shifty fashion? Yeah, go for it. Lex is going to similarly go with larceny, but uh, be forceful because that's what she that's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> and our target's eight, right? So it'll be uh, one success in my end. Mm hmm four successes. Awesome. It is immediately apparent that while you are all having a drink of merriment, there is a group of, uh, the, uh, let's say about four guards of the minion type persuasion who seem to be having a very somber drink uh, in, the, in a booth nearby. They don't seem to have noticed you, but you think that they would probably have a hard time uh, pinpointing you out from your previous mission, but you see the uh, where the yellow and black black jumpsuits of a Smirsh agent, a Smirsh minion. They are sitting around, somber. One of them bruising a black, uh, rubbing a black eye. A couple more, like, cheersing and pouring one out for the fallen, as they seem to be uh, having a rough day after just getting the crap beaten out of them from a failed from a failed defense mission that they had been going through. You I hear? don't yeah. imagine this actually changes anything, but. Uh, I just realized that um, they came from doesn't do 10 again or exploding 10s. It does double successes for 10s. Oh. Which means I actually got six, <laughs> which is bonkers. That is bonkers. It's a lot. <laughs> How many dice were you rolling? Six. <laughs> Well, hey, you got you got three that were normal. No, you got four that were normal and one six. That's that's a. Let's hope your luck uh, runs out quicker now. <laughs> no, I don't. But uh, looking past, you can also see that, like, even though they're sitting here having their drinks, they seem to be still on the job, as it were. And it's at this point uh, that a uh, concierge, black, black suit, nice tie, I do not have a nice tie, I have a Sonic t-shirt, uh, <laughs> comes uh, walking past uh, and he says, uh, sorry, a telephone for, uh, for, uh, Someone and and he's going to rattle off a name name and he says, says black Z v Schwarzer Black Widow. 
and uh, he's uh, going to put a uh, he's he's going to say there the line is in the telephone room it, it will be transferred over there and whatever accent I was trying to do I have no idea <laughs> that's fair he's from he's from the YouTube. from the Eastern European country of made up landia <laughs> made up <laughs> landia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, darling. Uh, Schwartz Black Widow is close enough, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so... Schwaz it. Schwaz it. Ger <laughs> German mixed with French somewhere in there. <laughs> It's drench. Oh, um, is there, I assume no one so, else. So Belgian. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm assuming no one else is responding <laughs> to this, right? Like nobody else perks up at the at, the, at that name. Oh um, no, 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 definitely not. But the uh, so he'll he'll uh, point you to in the far corner of the uh, hotel lobby, basically a row of telephone telephone set up. With private booths. Going into... Uh, yeah? Yeah, I, uh, we'll go ahead and go into one of the booths. and, Or rather, the one that's uh, prescribed for this. Yeah. Uh, immediately, you get a... Uh, you, you can immediately hear the voice of the chief. And he says, he says, Black Widow, this is the chief... I know that you and the others have been on a pretty successful mission, but we do have something that has cropped up here in Zurich. Now, don't suppose you know, but there is a agent who is currently running around in Zurich. We believe they are looking to sell some classified documents to a foreign power however we've gotten word that not only are they potentially selling this to the kgb but there is another agency another spy agency that is currently on the lookout for them and is hoping to intercept the package you will likely know the name of this agency as it was the one that you went up against just earlier today. Schmirsch. Lovely. So the Soviets are playing ball with themselves? Sh well, Schmirsch. Schmirsch. Mother Russia. Schmirsch is making sure that it is not, that the documents are not getting into the hands of. And I'm going to be, I apologize for this. I am very. I. Tried to go through the books, and I mistook that Schmirsch is a uh, is a Russian organization. I'm going to say Intel documents from Ru from Russia are being sold to the UK. Schmirsch is trying to find the uh, find the person who is selling the documents from Russia to the UK, like who's turning coat, turn turning turn coat turning turncoat is uh and so smirsch is trying to intercept the guy and give false information essentially we want to make sure that the actual information gets collected apologies for my I do rambling. believe that we can <laughs> i do believe that we can make that happen all we know about uh the potential turncoat is that they are they are brunette, blue eyes, and possibly, ha and pr most likely have a suitcase attached to their wrist. Hopefully that is not too difficult to find in Zurich. <laughs> well, they won't be the only one that fitting that description, but you can count on us, Chief. As I always do. 
This message will self dis I oh, this is a phone call. Apologies. Um I'll just I'll just hang up. I could blow up the phone booth if you'd like. Oh, please don't. We've I, I need to be using this phone booth in another five five hours for another team. Oh, oh okay. It's a quite busy. I had to organize with other agent agencies to make sure that I had the phone booth. I had to reserve time. Good luck. And he hangs up. Well then. Uh, and Alexis goes back to the bar, uh, checks to make sure that they're not being tailed, and uh, then relays this to the rest of the team. Ooh, another job right away. Do we know where we're supposed to be intercepting these folks? I just started my next drink. Well, Sounded I have an easy like solution were... for that. I slam mine down. <laughs> <laughs> you saying? Sounded like they were probably going to be around the hotel. Uh, yes. Ideally, we're not searching all of Zurich. Yeah, but... no. He he would have dropped the hotel's name in there. It's not any of those folks that uh, are gathered over there conspicuously in that booth, uh, huddled over and looking like they're plotting, is it? And at this point, you point to them, and one of them is like, "They killed Jeremy. They just shot him twice through the head." And another person yeah. person's like, I met the love of my life and they ended up being a spy. <laughs> and there's another one like there's this guy who's just he's he's holding his face in his head and this other this woman henchman is sort of patting him in the back and she, they were my love of my life too. <laughs> Commiserating right. together. Um, Excellent. I think Tanner is just gonna down his drink and just clear his throat. Wow. Alexis really did a number on them. <laughs> Didn't just kill their own one this time. Decided to kill the whole bunch. Even though he, he's probably killed a few of them, but he's passing that blame off to someone else. <laughs> uh, and, and just as sort of a fun factoid, uh, Smirsh is a, or rather was, actually is, um, uh, a real world uh, uh, Russian agency, or at the time Soviet, and now they exist again for some odd reason. Uh, is Stench... the eighties keeps coming back like a slasher villain from the eighties? Ironically, is <laughs> is Stench a real agency? <laughs> Or is that no. fake? <laughs> no, okay. That one we made up. <laughs> okay. Smirsh, Smirsh is real though. <laughs> oh god. I'm which probably means that uh mm -hmm. all of us that worked on the book are on a list in right. uh, oh, Moscow or something. <laughs> Hi CIA. Uh thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Hi NSA, CIA. Hi. <laughs> this is what you get for playing games about spies. <laughs> All right. Uh, has anyone else entered or left the lobby besides the the sad sacks over in the corner? Um, let's see. Roll me, roll me like a survival survival check for that one for for trying to track. The, what would you think would be a good role for trying to track people who are coming in and out of this room? Oh, uh, I'm not relying on anything like. Uh, you know, fancy spy training or, or survival techniques, I'm going to lean on culture because I am absolutely judging the shit out of every pair of shoes that walks through here. Oh, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I'm sorry, Hiromi. I'm, trying, I'm not trying to kill you. <laughs> if, we're not, if we're not dying of laughter, is it even a game? <laughs> it's valid. So... Um, so you're trying to roll your dice and petty bitch. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
exactly. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, Donna has probably had too many drinks to be that petty, and uh, I botched. I got uh, I got zero successes and a one. Zero successes um, and a one. Okay. Uh, how 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 close would you be watching someone? Uh, I, I would imagine with that role, probably uncomfortably so. You, like possibly even like getting up and actually like walking over to look at their shoes. <laughs> you're 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 walking over and you're like looking around for people who have a briefcase, uh, possibly handcuffed to their wrist, as well as their shoes being quite Russian or something. Like you're looking for low quality shoes and you're following this woman into the telephone booth area. Before you realize, oh, you've been following the uh, the Prime Minister's mistress, the UK Prime Minister's mistress, as she's got two bodyguards look, eyeing at you very intently, being like, uh, excuse me, miss, but uh, if you really want to be looking at shoes, there's a shoe shop across the way. I'll look at the guard's shoes and be like, those are so last year, and turn and sheepishly walk back over to the bar. Donna comes back to the bar as everyone's still, like, drinking and looking around and a bit dis dismayed. Um, I, don't, I don't think they're here. Um, I'll, I'll take another hot toddy, please. <laughs> Would anyone yes, else like please. to try try their hand? Um, sure. So I would I would probably do culture and cunning. I would think. Okay, roll for it to see if there's anything that I'm seeing. So two. Okay, so here here's me looking at the how to generate the quips and the rules for generating the quips are exactly what Hiromi said and on page one thirty eight. <laughs> that doesn't make it sound one bit less <laughs> explaining. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it's um, written. <laughs> um I have also had too much to drink because I botched it as well. Okay. I got a one and nothing above. Well, I got one seven, but on the bright side, we're just racking up rewrites left and right. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, so so we, we can go right ahead, Liz. No, go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, I literally forgot what I was going to say. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. I was just going to say rewrites are the equivalent of momentum, correct? Like they they can be used to spent, they can be spent on uh, extra dice and things. Yes, and we can also uh, activate cinematics with them um, if we if we're using those. Uh, I know this is kind of a one shot and a quick thing, so we may not want to dip into that. It's up to you. Um, That's fine if it's just something like add plus one to a roll or something. Sure. Well, as I, I'm, I, I spent so much time making that system. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it as a bad thing. Or I'm <laughs> I, I defer to the, the designers, and the designers are like, nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, you meant the cinematics. I'm sorry, I thought we were talking about something entirely different. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I thought we were still on. Oh, about you, the... you! Oh, you thought I was still talking about the how to randomly generate quips? No, <laughs> like I, I had to like that was going to be awkward no matter what because oh. I had to assume that the players just had D tens. So I'm right. like, well, okay. There's <laughs> right. five archetypes. I can make that part easy. But after that, <laughs> things get wonky. <laughs> little bit oh no so uh yeah i mean if you if you want we can like pull like we can randomly pull three cinematics or something like that for the for the thing all right if it, if, if you can do it quickly i i was just looking at we have four we have four rewrites to start with because we have four players and because we have two do we have two botches or just one botch 
We have two batches now, two, so we'd two be, batches. So it's we'd be up to like ten. Yeah, a lot of rewrites. Or eight, eight. If you're feeling especially adventurous, we could just have the entire cinematics list at our disposal. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> I'll, 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 I mean, giving the developers access to everything in the book that seems like nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> And that is probably a quip. I get dice for that. No, I don't. Sure. <laughs> I'll allow it. By all the authority vested in me as a player in this game, I'll allow it. And as, and as one of the developers of Onyx Path. I had I had uh, the f misfortune of having nothing to do with uh, with Classified. I, I did not get to work on this one. I am sorry. I, rub I'm, I, I didn't mean to rub it in. It's all right. I'll, I'll get over it one day. Okay. So, botch. I mean, from... ideally, we'll get to expand this universe, and then you can do that. That's valid. No, I've I've worked on other they came from stuff. I just never worked on classified. Mm -hmm. Botch from Minx. Sorry, uh, Liz. What was Minx uh, looking for specifically? Um, I was trying to subtly look around the room and um, just take inventory of people who are here and. Um, because I'm drunk, I didn't realize that I was actually doing the commentary out loud. Um, so I'm looking around and, okay, so there are four large <laughs> men with uh, big white hair. Uh, and I'm literally I'm just narrating everything that I see. And then I turn back and go, and drink. And then I take another swig because that's just what I do. So you get to the part of four four uh four evil minions uh <laughs> drinking in the corner when four four minions peek their head up as they're like who said that <laughs> in the russian accent i look they, around who said that <laughs> i'm gonna look around because i i don't know i didn't think that i said it out loud so i'm gonna look around too okay Roll me a uh, roll me a cunning plus uh, uh, plus a uh, I guess a larceny or a presence check to try and throw people off. Presence. Yeah. That would be yeah. Two successes. Two successes. They're yep. they're they're gonna go back to their drinking, but they're a little bit on edge right now. And uh, as as you are looking, as you've said that though, you do spy that there appear to be at least three people in the lobby who have uh, briefcases to push things along a little. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say that quietly to the group, <laughs> um, rather than announcing it to everybody in commentary. Should go that way. Are all these briefcases similar in design? There, there are various different versions. Like you have one that's like a crocodile skin briefcase. You have one that looks like a uh, met metal clam sh clamshell briefcase situation with lock, and you have one that's leather. Um, all three individuals appear to be wearing somewhat thinly veiled disguises of wigs and um, fake mustaches and sunglasses. So you can't really tell if they're the person that you're looking for unless you probably either get them alone or get up close in some way. So Alexis, you got this, right? Oh, of, of course, darling. Uh, I'll get to the bottom of... Uh, no, it's... Eh. I was going to try a quip, but it's a bit forced, so I'm just going to not. <laughs> <laughs> what would have been the quip? I'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, Which, I mean... Get to the bottom of this. That sounds like natural dialogue to me. I mean, yeah. at least as natural dialogue as you would find in a in a spy movie. 
Totally. The director is just like... Fair enough. <laughs> the director behind the camera is just sort of like going like... It's there! Uh, so how and... do quip work? work? Uh, so quips uh, are kind of like... escalating dice, uh, bonus dice, basically. Um, basically, you deliver a quip, and if people are, and if at least half of the table's like, yeah, that makes sense, uh, then you get uh, one bonus die for the first time you do it, and then if you decide to keep the quip because you like it and want to use it again, then the second time you get two dice, third time, fourth time, fifth time. After five uses, you retire the quip it's it's gotten it's gotten stale no matter like if you if you quipped some if you quip five times with the same quip like that's that becomes a catchphrase i mean basically <laughs> <laughs> uh but it does mean that if you manage to have a quip hang out that long and successfully use it five times then like the fifth time you get a boatload of dice uh which is silly but also a lot of fun hey and you correct could... me if i'm wrong but they they generally just apply to like whatever the next die roll is right so you don't necessarily mm -hmm. have to use it as part of an action uh and to that end as uh they're walking away i will call out don't forget to say thank you which is one of my clips <laughs> 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 nice. uh okay. oh and and also naturally if at least if half or more of the table disagrees with you quipping successfully, then you don't get the fucking dice <laughs> because you're just being, you're, you're just saying shit. It's you can't it's just stand in the middle of the set hard. going, I'll be back over and over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Alexis is going to uh, stroll up to one of the briefcase havers uh and just sort of lean in uh which is her uh their posture uh presents this uh um uh, leaning in as that fine line between threat and seduction <laughs> like if if they had a sword, it would be one of those numbers where it just comes right up to the chin and forces uh, the briefcase haver to uh, look up. Like that's that's where we're at. Okay, so you're so, going for some... come here often, and so how are you presenting this? Which dice are you, pool are you using? Uh, persuasion and presence. Like, oh, yeah. this is this is definitely a presence for all the way that I'm describing <laughs> it. <laughs> Go for it. Um, oh, right, I quipped. You quipped, so you get an extra one, yep. Uh, that is going to be three. Three. Uh, he says he, ten dice, but just three. <laughs> the the man with the uh the metal clam uh metal briefcase is going to is going to uh like bristle at that and he's and he says, Oh gotta stay cool, code phrase, code phrase. I come here for the wine. Well, the bar does have quite the selection. He uh, pulls out like a little phrase book and he goes through it and he says, um, sorry, that's not on my list. I mean, I, I'm, I'm honestly, you're very, very good at just guide, guide him to the bar because oh, it oh, seems oh, like, oh, oh. uh, He's he's lost in many ways at this point. <laughs> he's, he's, he he uh he gets dragged to the bar. And he's like he's he's half half like I I hope this is the person I'm supposed to be meeting and half I 
I hope I didn't screw things up. <laughs> is he but also, physically attached to that suitcase? Uh, like yeah, cuffed to it. Yeah, he's cuffed to it. Oh. Otherwise, I was gonna try to walk by the opposite way and just scoop it. Like, <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> no, he, the, the, he is being very protective of this uh, briefcase. Excellent. And um, I'm, I, uh, uh, ex excuse me, I'm, uh, uh, I didn't catch your name. Alexis. Uh, hello, Alexis. I'm I'm Justin. Sure. He he Charm, shakes. I'm sure. He tries to shake your hand, but his uh, or hold or grab your hand, and but he's got the briefcase in one hand, so he has to do the left hand. He's non-dominant. He's just a little awkward. I'm sorry. This is just my first time out in the field. I, I I'm I'm sorry. Does Alexis actually get the feel that this is uh, the right agent? <laughs> uh, you can. What what do they call? I give a vibe check. Uh, you can roll me a intelligence uh, plus culture or enigmas or anything you feel could work. Uh, probably culture and intellect, which is not a great uh, role for Alexis. Um, Did you use that um, re not rewrite uh, quip from before? I did, which I probably should have saved, but uh, yeah, it's it's still four dice. That's not the worst. Yeah. One, <laughs> one. You're you're pretty sure this person, whoever they are, aren't a Russian turncoat. They're they're probably meaning someone else, though. Hey, he has a briefcase. If you want, you could get it off his hands and bring it in as a bonus. <laughs> uh, just going to order uh, a Bellini for him since uh, he did mention that he wanted to try the wines and a Bellini is mostly wine. <laughs> <laughs> and so let's cut to uh the other members of the group as they are looking at the other two uh people with briefcases in the lobby so we have crocodile skin on and what was the other um briefcase leather. made of leather okay um I'm still dice shy over my botch, so anyone else want to take this one and go for it? Well, I can take crocodile skin for you. Okay. Is crocodile skin around anyone? Are they by, just by themselves? Uh, they got guards with them? Crocodile skin is a woman with, like, a, what is clearly, like, a, like, artificial red wig set up and sunglasses and she's got like this huge trench coat over her 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 body that's kind of like got the got the shoulder pads beefing it up she appears to be alone what, I what got an idea. you got an idea um he is just gonna grab because by now, when you hand the camera back, there's like five bourbons there for some reason. Um, <laughs> you just wonder, how, how have you been drinking that for that long? And he just takes his bourbon glass, um, walks over to that group that was um, uh, just lamenting or like someone shooting someone probably by accident on purpose. I mean, that's really not that important. Um and he's just going to off to the side, make an off the comment uh, to them. <laughs> you know, I heard a certain redhead with a briefcase might have been going around shooting a few agents and a few bouncers in here. Knocks a drink back. Um, uh, 
I'm going to try to use manipulation and empathy to try to get them to um, bother that woman at the table. Okay. Uh, I will give you a t minus two, uh, not a minus, uh, a, a complica complication of two where if uh, you don't buy off the complication, uh, you will... Um, they will become a little bit more inclined to, like, they'll probably feel like they're being disrupted and they're going to probably get a little bit feisty, let's say. Um, question, how do I use my trademark? It's true, I'm down to earth. Down to earth. For my empathy. I'm looking that up. Trademarks are a hint at their natural demeanor. Do... I have not seen the rules for trademarks, really. Or actually, no, I'm looking for at Down to Earth, and it's saying skills, empathy, and and integrity, and then stamina. So I think those are those are equivalent to quips, right? Your trademarks are equivalent to quips. The trademarks will add a uh, add bonuses. I'm not sure if it's enhancement or dice, though. Uh, yeah. I think that bounces back and forth. Oh, you you'll be able to add trademarks to linked skills. I don't have the. This is why I use PDFs more than uh, physical books, because I can just use the Control F feature a lot faster. Two additional dice. Thank and, you. And if the roll is successful, uh, you also get directorial control, um, which is why you can only use uh, your trademark, like each trademark, once per story, because it's super power. Oh, okay. Awesome. Right. If you're familiar with. Uh, Trinity Continuum, um, uh, directorial control is similar to dramatic editing, but more powerful. Yeah, like you be basically become the storyteller for a scene or something like that, right? Yep. Okay, so how, how, do I get extra die? How many, what am I? You get an extra two dice, I think. Cool. Oh. Probably going to need it. How many successes? Let me see. Uh, one. What's the double? Oh, never mind. Um, two successes. Two successes? Yeah. Uh, so you do. I did say complication two, so you can buy off the, uh, the complication, or you can. They might. They might just, like. Punch, punch you, and then go bother the person that you said. You know what? I'll, I'll let them take a swing. I'll let, they, they deserve it. After what happened, they, they, yeah. they probably need it. The guy, the guy with the black guy is like, uh, is, is is like just very punchy right now. Someone punched him in the face. He's he's upset. He punches you in the face. He's like, let's go. I think the boss wanted us to. To hassle someone who, with red hair, and uh, he's he's going to he's going to lead the rest of the uh, team of minions as they punch you, and you're going to just take one injury from it, and you can mark that off. <clears throat> and he's he, he's going to walk off like strutting, being like, "I'm the big boss," and uh, the guy who uh, who Alexis. Uh, uh, flip broke the, broke his heart is gonna like help you up, and he says, he says, I'm I'm really sorry. He's just having a bad day at work. It's no no, it's nothing personal. I'm we're I'm really sorry. Here here, and he he hands you a uh, his his whiskey glass, and it's like I've just been crying into it. It's it's perfectly fine. You can have some of mine. Oh. What, oh. He just kind of snaps his nose back into place. Oh, 
Hmm, my allergies are cleared up. Uh, what's your name, friend? Oh, uh, my 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 name is uh is is Ivan. I'm just I'm just really really sorry that this this is happening to you. I I I'm I'm you know just I hope your day goes well, man. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've had, been having the worst day. Um, came here, supposed to be meeting the contact. Russian's bad. I don't, I don't know who I'm supposed to be meeting. Uh, it's supposed to be a big story, big break. Tried to meet like the broad over there. He points vaguely to someone who might be out on the other side of the bar. Mm -hmm. uh, they gave me the slip. And, it's, um, a, it's, I, I hear you, man. Like, love if you find love you should hold it and cherish it you shouldn't let it slip through your fingers i mean i did mm -hmm. and i ended up being chloroformed and it was if only i was better in the relationship <laughs> i was oh. more i was more introspective and i went mm -hmm. and i and mm -hmm. i i i don't want to for you with the details it's just i you know what i'm i'm an atheist but i'll be praying for you tonight man that that's that's comforting that that's uh, really takes another like we'll <laughs> slip his drink just oh boy you know what not very religious man but i am kind of a, a thinker uh i see uh see a beautiful redhead in your future oh <laughs> uh, you you Aww, saving you're one just, tonight you're just saying that no 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 i'm telling you when you hear a loud commotion you'll know you'll find her and i i i see you finding someone who really understands you because like love is beautiful and i just love love and i hope that that love for you is something that is timeless and lasts forever and, and I, I need to get going. The, the, they're they're going to hassle that, that woman over there, and I, I, need, I need to get my paycheck today, and if I don't hassle the target, you know. Yeah, yeah, just remember. Remember, buddy. And he's kind of like manipulate, putting that thought in his mind, saving the redhead. Find love. And just kind of breeze on out, back over to the group. Okay. Uh, everyone can now see as uh, the four Schmirsch agents are... Uh, sort of hassling this woman with the alligator uh, briefcase now. That had such girls at the club in the um, <laughs> bathroom hyping each other up vibe that I can't even, I was like remembering every, every club that I went to in college. It's just, yeah, well, I love this love. Don't, don't let him, don't let him ruin your night, man. You're beautiful. It's like, like that's exact vibe, exact. <laughs> I love that energy. It's a good energy. <laughs> I did not go clubbing enough. Well, I'm not a club right. person. <laughs> so, um. Are you three ready for fireworks? Ready to go see which one is which? Oh, definitely. Um, so we, we have now interacted with all three of the uh, briefcase holders, correct? You've interacted with two, uh, but um, the scene is going to shift a little bit. Um, camera zooming, zooming into uh, the hotel lobby where uh, this woman is being hassled with the briefcase, and there, there's sort of a fight going out and going on, and then there's another, like, someone, there's another, as the uh, elevator is coming down, you hear a ding as another woman who looks exactly like the red-headed woman comes out of the elevator with the same alligator briefcase, and they look at each other, and they point at each other, and they're like, "It's her." <laughs> Both of them. And the minions are looking dumbfounded at both of the people 
trying to figure out which one is the one they're supposed to rough up. All right, but that is one of the people that we have already interacted with, right? Yes. Where's the one we haven't? Uh, the other one is currently, uh, they've opened up their briefcase and they are going through uh, their taxes. Oh, okay. So we know that they're not. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in that case, I'm going to hop up and I would like to uh, back the one who has emerged from the elevator up into, like up against the wall. Like, if necessary, literally chest bumping her until she steps up to the wall. Um, I would like to rely on my uh, stamina and persuasion, if that's at all possible. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Awesome. Man, this... Would you believe it? All those dice, I got one success. One success? Uh, so uh, but you're... I did use a quip earlier, actually, so I'm going to roll an extra die. Go for it. Oh, that's three successes. Now we're, now we're, now, talking. Now now we're, we're cooking with gas. gas. Yeah. Why is that not a quip? I'm sure it is somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> is it, they, they came from the barbecue? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, so uh, you pin this woman into the into the elevator what where exactly uh, i'm pinning her up against the like i'm backing her into the wall next to the elevator door okay and i'm just saying you're not going anywhere lady we have to sort this out she's she says help help me these 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 people are trying to steal steal our the intelligence who do you work for i i and uh, she is going to. She's going to be. Like, I I work for democracy. And there's this fanfare of of like the the uh, the Star Spangled Banner, a flag flapping in the background. In in the mind's eye, as it were. Meanwhile, the person who's being hassled by the uh, the uh, minions is also like, no, I I've got the intel. I am for democracy. And another fanfare of the Star Spangled Banner and a flag flapping behind. And and we hear a red tipped hawk, but it's act, <laughs> it's but on screen. Be. It's an eagle it's because be. that's how they get that fucking sound effect. Yeah, because, because eagles... if they actually played eagle sounds. It would sound so terribly dumb. Yeah, eagles are like <laughs> it's not like Murlocs, basically. They're like the Murlocs of this guy. <laughs> shall we? Shall we do a little bit of initiative here? We'll just do a popcorn style initiative, I guess. So we can say, um, Liz, you can you can start first. What are you, what are you doing? This is think of this as. Kind of combat, but not really combat, because you could still do stuff like to distract and toss people, toss people around, and change the environment. Okay, so um, so far I've been kind of on the outside watching all this happen. Um, I'd like to um, go over to the red-haired woman with the bad wig. And um, just wrap my arms around her and be like, oh, honey, it's okay. And pat her on the back. And as I'm doing that, try and um, loosen the, um, keep the handcuff on her, but loosen it from the actual uh, suitcase. Okay. Um, give me a larceny check. And are you using intelligence? Or, uh... um, I was use um dexterity yeah and um aim because i feel like i would have to do i would have to aim it right if, so so you're not Maybe. trying to pick the lock you're trying to shoot the handcuff or like what oh no no oh. okay nope i i Sorry. i completely understood what aim was no you're fine um I figured it was like almost like focus. Okay. Uh, so um, so yeah. some some of the ones you might not know. Uh, yeah, command, command is sort of like if you're telling someone to do something, uh, 
enigmas is puzzle solving or like hacking so like you could say you're trying to like figure out like the mechanics of something and yeah use that could i do do that yeah, yeah. i that's going to be a must for world enigmas and dexterity okay yeah i'll allow it i appreciate it all right and i'll put um, a one complication that uh if you do manage to pick it uh the agent knows that you took her briefcase basically minor complication uh, i get two successes two successes purchase the uh complication yes. and manage to uh extricate the briefcase so now you have a crocodile briefcase on you um i'm just gonna um say i'm gonna get you some uh some tissues and i'm gonna run to the bathroom uh, Crow, you're you're up. Um, or actually, okay. uh, yeah, actually, I'm not doing popcorn in this ship now. I'm now I'm doing counterclockwise. Um, okay. So I see Minx has run off to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm guessing Donna still has the other redhead woman into a wall. The yeah. eagles flying in the background. Yes. Um. And where is where's Alex? Hiromi. Where's Alex? Uh, lurking in the periphery near uh, the recently robbed redheads. Um, I'm. You, you you can tell Alexis has the look in her in their eye like they're gonna make a commotion. And it's going to be dramatic. <laughs> um, you just see, um, see the detective uh, uh, Tanner. He's just going to hold up a thumbs up, and he is going to spill his drink on the ground, throw the glass to cause a spill. Okay, I'll say that I'll add a complication uh roll me a like a dexterity or might plus what do you think aim what 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 dice pool would you like to be using on this um that's a good question uh i don't know i'm just trying to make the situation complicated yeah i, I could say survival enigmas uh aim Close combat, maybe. I'm not sure. Try Enigmas. Okay. Is it larceny could also count if you're doing like trap setting, basically. Yeah. Larceny oh. would apply. Okay. Uh, let's try. I'll try Enigma. You said dexterity? Yeah. Dexterity or okay. cunning. You can use either, I think. Dexterity or cunning. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, three successes. Three successes. Okay, I'm gonna say you you toss toss this glass into the scuff into the kerfuffle, and you've just created a complication too in the area for these um, minions who are trying to hassle this this woman. Um, and yeah. as he's walking away, he's just gonna shout, "She's wearing a wig!" And just keep keep moving like he didn't uh, just scream that out. Yeah. <laughs> There, he's uh. So the the minions are all sort of like they're they're all going crazy and in this uh in this scrum, and one of them is gonna try and pull off the pull off the wig of the uh of the agent. Um, but that being said, it is now uh it is now Travis's turn. So this lady I've got hemmed up. Do I clock that? Um. Forgive me, I don't remember that Minx has the other briefcase. Uh, I would Did say, Did I yes. see that happen? Yeah, uh, in that case, then I'm gonna say, um, uh, dreadfully sorry about this, and I'm going to headbutt <laughs> the woman and take uh, her 
take her suitcase. However, uh, there's a couple of things I would like to throw into this headbutt. Uh, first of all, I, I'm hoping I can rely on close combat for a headbutt. Yes. Can I also rely on stamina for my headbutt? I would say so. Awesome. Uh, I also would like to use my I Know Kung Fu trademark for close combat to get some extra dice. <laughs> if I could. Yeah, go for it. And uh, if I might, I would like to also activate uh, one of my tropes, which is sorry about this. Um, it says once per story, you can make any attack, no matter its normal lethality, declare it has the non-lethal damage tag and the attack deals double its normal damage. Now, as fun as that might be to use for an explosion, I, I don't have time for to set one up, so I'll just use it for a headbutt. <laughs> okay, her defense is one. <laughs> Uh, I'll just roll a couple dice over. Uh -huh. Yeah, go for it. Uh, so it's two, four. Um, five successes. Five successes. How, do you, uh, how, how does this go down? How do you want to do this? <laughs> uh, so, like, I say sorry, and I grab the handle of the briefcase, and just headbutt her, and like she just, I, I'm assuming like her eyes go crossed. Maybe there's some sound of birds uh, twirling <laughs> around her head, yeah. and she just kind of slides down the wall. And I just relieve her of the briefcase as she uh, loses consciousness, and then uh, make my way into the same uh, restroom, I believe it was that Mix that Minx headed toward. You you begin walking walking towards the uh, the rest the restroom as this woman is being dragged behind you. <laughs> Handcuffed to the briefcase. Oh, oops. Well, that's it's fine. I'm sure. It's fine. It's just <laughs> slumped over body. Uh, Hiromi, you're up. Uh, Alexis is going to uh, step towards the Smirsh, uh, whichever Smirsh agent uh, seems to be. Uh, taking point on the harassing of the uh, career or a uh, uh, turncoat uh, and they're going to sort of ping pong off of uh, the, uh, the the woman and that smirsh agent and just keep like, did you just hear what she said about you did you hear what he just said about you? And just going back and forth, just ramping up and uh, escalating just small comments and looks and um, using the trope, uh, the spark, uh, which uh, your keen social awareness helps you press all the right buttons in the perfect time. Uh, once per story, spark an argument between the two characters. Roll any skill plus attribute the director deems appropriate to the situation. For every success, minimum one, the argument escalates into a threat, a fight, a brawl, and then a catastrophic ending, respect uh, respectively. <laughs> nice. Uh, and I would like to use persuasion and presence for this because it it that, it doesn't even seem like a stretch, really. Yeah, go for it. Um, uh, that is three, which makes it a brawl. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they are now fighting each other as the redhead is sort of being... <laughs> ignored by them as they're like did you say that to me did you and they're 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 getting cut and scraped on the uh, their feet are cut on the glass and everything of the of the of the bottle that had broke the uh, glass that had shattered at their feet they're slipping they're falling <laughs> it's a three stooges moment and uh the woman now is able to get away from them and she and she's like Thank you, as she's trying to catch her breath. Now. We, uh, should, we should call ourselves the subtlety group. 
we we just nail this whole you know real little hiding real secretive stuff uh minx and <laughs> and uh and donna are currently in the bathroom together both with briefcases though one with a little bit of extra luggage along with it hey do you know how to pick a lock <laughs> You know what? I hadn't thought that far ahead. Uh, <laughs> I, I can, I can give it a give it a shot. I suppose I'll, I'll take out uh, whatever the one bobby pin that's holding my beehive up, so it falls completely down around my shoulders. Um, and and, uh, <laughs> well, well, can, <laughs> and then see if I can use that to pick the lock on the handcuff. I'm not even thinking about opening the briefcases yet. We're that's that's down the road. <laughs> yeah. I'm try to get this body off my off my suitcase yeah roll uh larceny plus whatever you feel like would work for it or enigmas can work as well uh would larceny dexterity be okay yeah larceny dexterity would be okay as you pull out your bobby pin and your hair goes flowing in the in the air as if a wind machine is right underneath you uh let's see what you get and i'll say don't blink you'll miss the show and wink at minx uh, does that count as a quip, everybody? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, that is two successes. Two successes. Immediately, uh, you, you uh, pick the lock and you get what appears to be... Um, just double-checking my notes here for which one this was. It looks like you've got... Um, Looks like you've got a uh, briefcase uh, full of uh, nuclear launch codes and and secrets for the Russians. Uh, refresh my memory. Is that actually what we're looking for? You're looking for the information that's supposedly in the briefcase. Um, it, it, this oh, was... So we, we don't know what the actual intel is that we're seeking. Yeah. We're just looking for something important. Yeah. Got it. Um, then I'll... Uh, Kind of give a, a gentle elbow to Minx and say, we got it. We should get out of here. Let's hide the body first. And I drag the um, unconscious woman into a stall and shut the door and put her, sit her on the toilet. I was going to say, you can't just let her lay there. Like, we'll sit her up. Um, maybe... Uh, run i don't know like I'm trying to think what else well, we can do to sell this um <laughs> do you do you want to open up the other briefcase um i oh we could do that I um I can i do enigmas and security yeah so um and it's seven or above, right? Eight, uh, eight, eight, eight or above. Eight above. Okay, so I have one success. One success. Pop it open. It looks like it's nuclear launch codes, and and information about the uh, Russian military. So it's nearly identical to the other one. However, there are definitely key uh, aspects of the co of the uh, intel. That are slightly different, different enough that one is definitely one is probably a trap, and the other one is the reality. But it's hard to discern which one's which. That's okay. We'll let the big brains back at uh, HQ sort that out. I know I have a great escape route planned. Follow me. Let's do it. Uh, and I'm gonna as we walk out of the bathroom. I would like to grab like a serving tray that like the waiter might use, for example. And then, uh, if I may, I'll wave to the rest of the group, uh, but I would like to activate another trope on my way out of the hotel if I can. Go for it. Uh, it's called Adrenaline Junkie. Um, you Once per story, you can move any combat encounter into an environment of adrenaline. Perhaps a ski slope was behind the casino all along, or strange tunnels sprawling throughout the villain's lair, double as bobsled, bobsled course. 
Uh, whatever you and the director decide, roll athletics composure. Uh, your enemies are entirely discombobulated for a number of minutes equal to the successes rolled, minimum one. Uh, so my hope is that there's like, like that this mountain, that this hotel is like on the K-12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> in Zurich. You're on a K-12 in Zurich. I'm not sure if, how how likely that is. I I am bad at geography, but yes, there is a K-12 outside. And Minx and I are uh, my plan is that we will sit on top of this serving tray and ride it ride it down the side of the K-12 like a sled. Okay. And hey, listen, when I lived at Rockford College, never actually went to school there, but I lived there for a semester. And when I lived there, we used to steal uh, trays out of the calf all the time and go sledding with them. They make perfect sled. We used to do that, too. <laughs> the boxes worked. And... So, uh, so you're going out through like a window or something onto a <laughs> ski slope. Yes. <laughs> all right. Uh, both of you roll me uh, some sort of athletics checks on this. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got here. So the the mm -hmm. art, the thing I'm using the uh, trope I'm using calls for uh, athletics composure on my end. Yeah, let's athletics composure on both ends is fine. Okay, what I'm just doing. So that's four. Mm -hmm. Nice. So our opponents are discombobulated uh, for the next four minutes. Okay, so I rolled, I have uh, zero successes. Oof, I three. One. Nope, no ones. Okay. I'll say the uh, four successes of your colleague has helped you get onto the uh, <laughs> the makeshift bobsled, as it were. The uh, you you're about to fall off, and Donna grabs you dramatically and 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 holds you tight as you guys go careening uh, down a ski slope. If Minx is okay with it, I'll I'll plop her on my lap, much like if a, a, a parent going sledding for the first time with their toddler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's be civilized about this. Narratively speaking, One we cut, clips. we okay. smash Thanks. cut to the uh, two uh, agents who are left in the uh, lobby. One, uh, uh, I'm assuming both with the red-headed woman that was being hassled, who no longer has a briefcase uh, on her wrist. Uh, what do you do, uh, Crow and Hiromi? Uh, like I saw the other two uh, duck into the restroom with the other woman. Uh, so if if they didn't see <laughs> our uh, uh, teammates come out, yeah. uh, actually, even even if. Uh, even if they did see it, uh, want to check on that woman just to make sure who's who. Uh, you, uh, I'm assuming both of you will go into the women's room, Crow, Crow as well. Yeah, oh, I'm hanging outside. Well, okay. I'm just gonna <laughs> hang, hang out. outside okay. with a six bourbon, just kind of knock it back, <laughs> <laughs> check to make sure they didn't leave a body or something. Uh, Har Haromi, as you uh, as you enter into the bathroom, you do see um, there there seems to be like a stall with a collapsed body in it. But you also see uh, uh, a woman secret agent who is garroting a Russian KGB female officer uh, from one of the stalls, like holding holding her up and is uh, just going like, oh, uh, s s "Sorry, this is occupied." Oh. Oh, were you looking for the other other two women that came in? <laughs> yeah, and, and and she's going to try. She's she's trying with her best luck, and she's tilting the head of the KGB officer towards the window. And she says, "They they they went down the slope. If you go like, it, you should you should be able to catch up." Thanks. Uh, 
I just need to check two things real quick. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry to bother you. Sorry, I'm in the middle of a job right now. Um, oh, no, you, I, I totally understand. Can you help uh, me bring the body up into the vent? It's a little bit tough from this angle. Uh, does, I, I mean... The KGB or Smirsh, the the Soviet agent, Soviet uh, agent. is uh, getting garroted. Yes, that agent. The red hair is definitely their actual hair. Yeah, the 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 woman who is red hair on the ground mm -hmm. is um she's in another stall completely. She's just she's just she's not being garroted. She's just collapsed. Right, this is an unrelated okay, garage. Okay. This, this is, is an unrelated, unrelated garage. garage. <laughs> it's just a real busy bathroom today, that's all. Yeah, I was just I was just invoking the golden eye uh facility level where you jump in from the vent. Uh the, Sure. Uh okay. So so um, she so she the the woman is on the ground and uh the wig comes off bald woman but like still a woman as far as you can tell okay uh but uh not brunette blue eyes not brunette not blue eyes blue eyes cool uh yeah might as well help this ancient stuff a body into the fucking vents <laughs> uh uh, Alexis is uh, oddly strong, uh, so this is actually uh, not not terribly difficult. Unless you want to make me roll for it, and the dice hate me. Uh, um, no, no, it's it's fine. <laughs> you help her help her get the body up in there, and she says, uh, "I'll be I'll be I'll be here uh, next week if you're if you're available." Wink. Oh, darling. Uh, answers a wink with a wink, uh, and just sort of splashes uh, liquor on uh, the mouth and uh, chest of the Soviet agent. puts puts the wig back on, uh, and uh, walks out. Tanner, very cool. Our friends have taken a fast way. Would you like to take a faster way? Found a brunette with blue eyes. The uh, the 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 redhead that is currently with uh, you, Crow. Uh, she'll she'll be she'll take off her sunglasses, and you can see blue eyes. And uh, under the wig is a little bit of brunette hair, and she says, "I I'm I'm looking for asylum." Someone took my briefcase, but I was, I I was, I was trying to uh, help. You're you're the people I was supposed to meet. You're trying to defect, yes. Yes. Lovely. Shall we move this to the roof? Yeah, run up the stairs. Cuts to the four minions all beaten to hell. <laughs> the one the one uh woman agent along with the other guy agent being like Love prevails as they've kicked down the guy with the black eye. <laughs> and they're they're like and, and 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 it's like wait a minute you love i love we have so much in common and <laughs> their love story meets with a kiss as it goes to uh you both on top of the roof with the uh with the brunette woman i hope those two kids work it out i know they do <laughs> you love a good meet you that was adorable yeah <laughs> We've been working together our entire two-month lives, expecting to die in three months. We <laughs> we can make it if we try. I don't know. 
All right, darlings. You are going to want to hold on to me very tightly. Like what? You got a... The heels are made of, like, what, rocket propeller or something? Or are you going to Mary Poppins your way out of here? Yes. And uh, Alexis reaches behind her, pulls uh, a balloon out, and then the CO2 cartridge uh, underneath it uh, pops. A huge balloon jets up uh, to about 50 feet above. <laughs> and then you hear the sound of a uh, Skyhook equipped MC 150, uh, 130. <laughs> snag, the, snag the balloon. No, really, you need to hold on very tightly. <laughs> And Hold all on. three of us get yanked off the fucking roof. Uh, this is exit strategy. It is one of the cinematics. It is very cheap. It is one one <laughs> rewrite. If you want, uh, and if the rest of the uh, team are okay with it, uh, you can charge three because we're extracting three people this way. Um, uh, I'm fine with it. This is a good place okay. to end the session now that everyone is out of the... <laughs> out of the lobby hotel lobby as it were it is the hotel lobby is a smoking ruin of spilled booze <laughs> fisticuffs and uh odd oddly working out love <laughs> i mean obviously they're going to get married here like <laughs> yeah if they believe I, in I marriage i mean they just I have a feeling that we were have... like the Rosencrantz and Guildenstern in their romantic comedy movie. Um, like... <laughs> Aww, I love that. There's so that is that is beautiful. Um... <laughs> so what did you all, th all think? <laughs> this it's, was fun. It's Very always a good sign when you're that you had a good time playing they came from if your cheekbones hurt at the end of the game from yeah. from smiling and laughing. Yeah. And uh that's where I'm at. So uh, that's awesome. Glad to hear it. <laughs> now I, I I that's something I love about doing uh one shots on stream is just making trying to see how many people I can kill with laughter <laughs> in so many different ways. Uh so it's the end of the stream. Uh, thank all the audience members for sticking around with us. I will uh, we'll do things in reverse order, uh, starting with Liz. Who are you? And if people want to find you, if you have socials, you can plug them. If you're doing if you're um, doing any I theater stuff, hey, plug it, <laughs> plug that too. I don't. <laughs> Um, I am Liz Pacino. I am a current English teacher teaching the future nerds of America. And uh, currently, I'm just being a mom. So uh, I enjoy playing these games. Ask me to come back anytime. Uh, she's going to be awake in a half hour anyway. So <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come back anytime. This is fun. Thank you, Liz. And uh, Crow, you're up. Hi, I'm Crow. I am currently now vibing out to 60s Bond music while all this is happening, so this is a vibe. Um, I am Corvus Crow. You can find me at on Twitter, at Corvus Crow, or on Twitch, Corvus Crow, and also on the Blank Slate Twitter. Uh, we're working on, currently, hopefully, a Scion game and also a Mage game. I have to go and look at my group there. <laughs> to see if we're still doing that but we're definitely doing scion it's basically um if you like if you watch anime and you recently watched soul leveling it's kind of like that that is our new scion game so uh, i hope you guys check that out soon when i get the details awesome uh, definitely make sure you shoot me a note when you get that going too so i can yeah. promote it on our end as well I will let you know as soon as we officially start production i'm looking at my person across from me who's just looking at me like what production? <laughs> so, <laughs> it's on schedule. It's on schedule. All right, cool. Okay. So yeah, uh, thank you for having me. Thank you, Travis. You're up. 
Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Travis. My pronouns are he, they. When I'm not uh, running games or playing in them, uh, I'm writing them. Um, I just, uh, you can find me anywhere online at Travis Leg. pretty much. I'm, I'm, I'm Blue Sky, uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, though, uh, full disclosure, all I do on Twitter is share links to my stuff because I don't engage with people there anymore. Um, and yeah, uh, I just would like to, uh, thank uh, all the players for hopping in here. Um, I would like to thank Corbin for doing a wonderful job running. And I would like to encourage uh, those of you, if you watch this and you had fun and you haven't yet picked it up, uh, head over to drive through RPG and uh, pick up the hotel lobby. Uh, and I'll throw a link to that in the chat momentarily. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Hiromi. Uh, I'm Chido Makota. Uh, you can find me. Well, you can find my accounts uh, wherever at Hido Makoto. Like I, I have a Twitter that I haven't, that I really only log into when I'm forced to, <laughs> uh, and a blue sky that I should be on more often. But uh, I'm busy writing games because that's that's my life. <laughs> uh, I don't really have anything to promote, although I'll say that you should check out the Indiegogo for uh, reprints of uh, Trinity and Trinity Aeon and uh, Scion Origin, because uh, those are all fun games. And getting reprints, especially reprints with, uh, I do believe that some of the uh the errata for them is getting rolled in uh yeah i think scion is getting it, it, correct somebody can correct me if i'm wrong and if i am mistaken on this i will gladly issue an informal apology but i believe all the errata from scion origin is getting rolled into that reprint and then there is additionally there's some bits in uh trinity core and aeon that are getting corrected it's mostly minor corrections in those two but i think all the published errata that we have for scion is <laughs> getting rolled into origin yeah that that's the impression that i'm under as well so if so if that if that's not true then something weird has happened <laughs> and awesome. uh yeah so uh we'll uh like to thank uh all y'all for uh being here and playing uh because classified's a fun game <laughs> and it's a ridiculous game it's a silly game and it is. uh it, it's it's always better with uh folks who want their face to hurt at the end so uh <laughs> hopefully hopefully everyone else's face is hurt too <laughs> it does <laughs> I'm the Awkward GM Corbin, he, him. You can find me on various social media things, Twitter, Blue Sky, not much on Twitter as much, again, because I hate it. Uh, and I like Blue Sky, <laughs> but I don't use it as much either. Uh, but you can find me at the Awkward GM Corbin on YouTube. I don't have much to plug right now. Hopefully I can get a video up sometime this this week uh but i have a lot of secret projects going on that i can't talk about yet so we'll see if i can talk about them next time and welcome to our nightmare yeah <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. so uh thank you all i hope you have a good night and uh it's they came from classified oh also uh quick note uh they classified's not officially out yet but you can still head over to backer kit and pre-order it uh along with it's part of the double feature along with what might be the best role-playing game that's ever been published which is they came from the cyclopsis cave so you can pre-order both of those over on uh on backer kit right now and throw that link in the chat as well awesome if you like swords and sandals slash fantasy of any kind uh they came from the cyclopsis cave is a lot of fucking fun uh i i also did <laughs> the quips and uh cinematic powers for that one uh and it all any and all inspiration that we could take we 
added into that uh, book. Uh, it is, it pushes a lot of fun fantasy buttons for folks. I'll be starting up a stream, a regular uh, Cyclops's Cave stream uh, with, with details announced very soon. Uh, but our premise is basically a cross between Masters of the Universe, uh, Xena, and uh, Charlie's Angels. That's basically kind of the vibe Ooh, that awesome. we're going for. So, <laughs> Sweet. Yep. Okay. And with all of that, I think that's it. Thank you all for watching. We'll raid someone or jump into another channel at some point or think the stream will end uh thank you all for watching yeah i think have i got a friend of the channel i can send this over to awesome have a good night bye also do the indiegogo thing so i can get a hard copy of training continuum assassins that was a long thing to say bye <laughs>